in this video we are going to cover group functions basically group functions or aggregate functions are applied on multiple rows and they return a single result out of that for example if we have a column called salary in our employees table and I want to add the salaries which we are paying to the employees so I can use sum which is one of the group functions available in SQL to sum up all the salaries and finally it will give us a single result so whichever functions we will cover here in this video will be applied on multiple rows or I should say a multiple in a group of rows and they will return a single result per group and by default these functions will consider the complete table rows as a single group so let's see practically some of the very commonly used functions like count max min sum average which we will do now in the practical all right so in this particular example we'll discuss about the group functions as here you can see we have a column called salary here now right now I'm searching for all the columns but now if I'll put only one column name like salary and we'll execute this so I will get only salaries now let's talk about the group functions as we have already given a look of the functions where we saw like we are getting the one output per row alright in the normal functions which we have just seen but in group functions what it will do is it will return one record per group and in that particular group there may be any number of rows by default the group function considers the whole table as a group so whenever you will put any function like sum here so it will give you a single result as I said one result per group and this is a single group so as soon as I will execute this one you will get 783,000 as a single record now similarly we do have something more like max salary min which will find the minimum salary maximum salary the total of all the salary that is sum average of all the salaries so we have all these functions let's put the aliasing also so that we can differentiate as now you can see sum minimum is 60,000 sorry maximum is 60,000 minimum is 20,000 average is 37,285 rupees and all or whatever currency you choose alright so this is about the group functions you can only pass the group functions in the select clause you cannot pass them in the where clause for example if you want to find the maximum salary of the employee for example I I don't know the maximum salary but I want to know the name of that employee who's earning the maximum salary so for doing that what I can write here is select first name from TBL employees where salary now I can't use the group function right here like where salary is equal to max salary alright so it will not be correct if I will execute this one you will see there is an error now so how should I do that I will have to pass this in a select statement so select max salary from employees or TBL employees alright and since it is a subquery now I will put them inside the parenthesis so this is a subquery which will calculate the maximum salary and on that particular basis I will find the first name of that employee or, or all these those employees who are getting that particular amount the maximum salary so this is about the group functions in SQL Server